Welcome to Adulting with a Disability. I'm Martha and today I'd just like to share my progress on finding a new job. So about two months ago, which really feels about two years ago, <laughs> I resigned from my job due to burnout. I was really bent out. <laughs> I just could not face another day of doing what I was doing. And I had to leave my job. Which really broke my heart because I loved my job. But anyway, I had to, I had no choice. At least that's how I felt. So time went by and I started talking to, communicating with a CEO of a company and it's an amazing company that I respect highly. They have great integrity, great values and I really want to be a part of what they do. I didn't know what area but um, I sent the CEO an email and said, I, I want to work for you. I want to be part of your company. And so he thought about it a bit, talked to his people. And in the meantime, I sent him my resume. And thought, you know what, it's best to put my hat in the ring and give this a shot, then not. So, I've been a bit impatient and it has taken a bit of a process. So, every Monday the general manager gets an email from me that <laughs> pretty much says, so what's happening this week? What are we up to? When am I starting? What can I do? And my start date is tomorrow, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm excited. They've created a job for me and I will be filling in the gaps that need to be filled. And the amazing thing is in one of the conversations I had with the general manager, he was like, you know, we need someone to work part-time. Everyone that we interview always wants a full-time job. And it would be great to have you there part-time to do the little things that need doing. I thought, you know what, that's just perfect for me. That's all I can manage part-time. I don't want a full-time job. Mentally, I can't manage full-time. Uh, physically, I can't manage full-time. I just get really tired. And so I think because I can't manage physically full-time, the burden is on my mental health. And so that's why I choose to work part-time. So we've agreed to 12 hours a week and we'll see how we go. And hopefully, well, I want to be an asset to this company. Because if I'm not an asset, if I'm not contributing in a positive way, then I can't be there for both them and me. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you as an update on Remove the Barrier that we can help a lot in this area by, you know, making contact, networking, following through, seeing what we can do to help ourselves and help others. 
And you know what, you might think, well, no one wants to hire me, but you don't know unless you ask. I'll give you an update in a couple of weeks, but I'm hopeful that it will be a good outcome. And I love this company so much that, yeah, it's going to work. All right, bye for now. Subscribe if you haven't. Tap on the bell. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.